Hey Jaguars, I'm Brian Shapiro. And I'm Christina Pagano, and the recap starts now. now. So apparently our school recently hosted an event where a man was attacked by a wild animal. Sounds vicious if you ask me. You mean the man versus beast game? Yep, that one. That's just the name of our big game versus JP Taravella. But no one was injured in the process, Brian. So check it out. Last Friday, the third annual man versus beast game took place at JP Taravella High School. Man versus beast uh, for the third year was a success, um, being that we had the opportunity to come together with Terra Vela High School in a community event. Um, both our PTSOs put on. Um, it was a success. Uh, for the second year in a row, we won, of course. The beast destroyed the man again. Um, but overall, I think it was a success. Um, each year it grows. It's becoming bigger. Um, this year we added the, uh, the dodgeball at, at, at halftime with the faculty as well as students. So um, overall, again, I, I feel it was a success. Um, the event keeps getting bigger, and hopefully next year we'll do it again, win again, and it'll become bigger. Teachers from both schools participated in the competitive basketball game, and students attended to cheer them on. Win! 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 After a hard-fought game, the Jaguars won with a score of 74 to 66. SGA and Mrs. Rivera organized and promoted the event. Okay, organizing the Man vs. Beast was an amazing task because it's been the third year planning it together with a great group of staff members and I'm so happy at the turnout that we had at Terravella. A dodgeball tournament with students and teachers was held at halftime. Caravello girls, so or student government girls, played against their student government girls, and um, the balls were really small compared to the normal dodgeballs, and so like the way how they set it up is where we had to like go back and then we ran for it, which is normal dodgeball. But I find like the girls from the Caravello, they would like step back and they wouldn't want to come forward, so like we kind of got fed up with that, so we kind of moved up and we're like, what? So then. Like we lost, but you know, we kind of, we think we worked hard enough and even though we lost, we actually felt like winners in the end. There is more to come from SGA in the coming weeks. We are also looking at student versus faculty basketball game, which will be the last period of the day on the last day of seniors. Okay, so be on the lookout for that. With WJAG, I'm Caroline Kaplan. <laughs> Hey Brian, what can you serve but never eat? Um, I don't know. A volleyball. Check out the story on the boys' outstanding volleyball season. The boys' volleyball season has begun, and the Jaguars are off to a great start. With only one loss against Stoneman Douglas, our team has gone on to win against Monarch, Deerfield Beach, and four other schools. The number four, Doug Levinson, told us about the team. Uh, we're 6-1 and one now, which is awesome. Lost Douglas. We'll beat them next time. They're coming to our home. Our, basically our whole team is made up of seniors. Coach Sterling, she's obviously the best. Like she, she led us here. She got us in shape. She got us practicing every day. She, she got us here. She's like her mom. The future looks promising for Jaguar Volleyball. Make sure to support them against the Trojans this Monday at Terravilla High. With enough support, their winning streak might just continue. For WJAG, this is Renan Tages. Hey Brian, who is the most hated man of the 21st century? Osama bin Laden? No, silly. Mark Wiener. Check out this week's edition of Reverse Question Mark. I don't want to make you look any stupider, so actually, yes, I do. This is Reverse Question Mark. Now I get to ask the questions. Mark, who sang one of the best songs ever called Tainted Love? 
I was expecting an English question. Like I thought, he doesn't know. I can't memorize the questions, so let me read them off of my phone. What's the worst hockey team in the NHL? The Florida Panthers. The Rangers. What is the capital of Iowa? I've never been to Iowa. Iowa is barely a state. What is Hannah Montana's best friend's name on the show? Oh, come on. I only watch good television, so I wouldn't know something like that. What is the derivative of 4X? Speak English, please. What are the five current communist nations? Russia? No. <laughs> no, you're wrong. You're wrong. Why do you think every single other recap producer in the history of Coral Blades has been better than Mark Wiener? Marcus Wiener, I apologize. Well, Mark Wiener is not a producer. Marcus. Marcus. Mark. It's Marcus Wiener. No, it's not. Mark Wiener is not a producer. He is a director. Producing director, but a director. A producing director. Yeah. So I made that they're title making up titles now. What was the world's first monothetic religion? Monotheism. 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 Wow. You want to start that over? <laughs> this is why you're my favorite question mark contestant. What does the acronym NAACP stand for? North American. No? Not even close? Um, why are Ivy League colleges called Ivy League? Um, because they grow ivy on campus. You're a complete moron. Being that I know that you follow holidays, could you please name the days of Kwanzaa for me? The days of Kwanzaa? They have names? I got them. They have names? Yes. Why? The days of Hanukkah don't have names. I'm just saying. This is sad and embarrassing. At least I got some of your questions right. Who's the highest paid actor in television history? Uh, is it Charlie Sheen? Yeah, he's a winner. Who's the advisor of the Prowl? Uh, Mr. Jonathan Gordon. Okay. He prefers Johnny, not even Mr. Gordon. If you see him around school, call him Johnny. Thank you. A freshman is smarter than Mark Wiener. Not really surprising. All right, what is the drinking age in Las Vegas? Is it 18? No, it's 21 everywhere. <laughs> 21 everywhere. Say silk five times fast. Silk, 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 silk. Now spell it five times. S-I-L-K, 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 S-I-L-K. What do cows drink? Milk. They drink water. <laughs> In case you've ever never seen Question Mark before, what he does is he asks the question, listens to their answer, and then repeats exactly what they just said. I don't do that. I don't do that. How many New York sports team shirts do you own? Oh my god, I can't even count that. Who is your favorite English teacher this year? Oh, well, that's an obvious one, Miss Shane. Yay! He, he's correct. Well, Jaguars, that's all we have for this week's edition of the recap. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. I hope, I hope. It's home from work we go. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. It's home from work we go.